Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Foliage. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So this is uh, one of my philodendron and uh, you can see it's doing absolutely fantastic. So I thought that I'll speak a little bit about it. Uh, now it's been over uh, a year or so that it has been with me and uh, I had used a regular uh, stick and I had put some rope on it and had made the DIY kind of a rope. Because it's an epiphyte, it tends to uh, stick onto something and starts to grow on it. It tends to put out aerial roots. Uh, let me show you the aerial root over here please uh, ignore the mess these are all these strings that I've used because they like to cling onto it a lot of times they might because of the breeze they might just uh, you know go haywire so that's why you need to tie them a little bit and these are the aerial roots of uh, the philodendron so this is what tends to stick and then they start to grow and uh, it's very important that when you're watering it, you also moisten this uh, rope as well or a pole, whatever you have been using. Moisten this and you can even use some liquid fertilizers on this as well because the roots tend to attach on it and they start absorbing if there is any water or fertilizers on this uh, pole. Now this is a coir or a rope pole. I can even add some water and wet it. It tends to... It tends to stay moist for a longer time and you can even add some liquid fertilizer on it. You can mix liquid fertilizer and just wet the entire pole and the uh, roots will attach to it over the time. Now this one I just, uh, now when I was able to make this video, I happened to tuck this over here but otherwise it was just hanging around. So this is how the roots of the epiphyte look like and uh, this is my plant. It's doing extremely well. There is two new growth coming up. Uh, this is the first one and this is the second one and as we all know that every time when a philodendron tends to put out a new leaf it is going to have this sheath uh, which the pothos do not have but the philodendrons have this is a very common thing and this is the best way to identify whether you have a pothos or a, a a philodendron because if you tend to look at it it kind of looks like a jade pothos but uh, this is the resemblance uh, this is what will tell you or differentiate uh, between the uh, pothos and a philodendron so this is a philodendron that's why it has the sheath every time there is a new leaf that tends to come out it will have a sheath over the period of time this sheath will dry up it will turn brown let me check if there are any on this um uh, Okay, I think I might have taken them out, but uh, usually they tend to turn brown in color. Probably you will be able to see it over here. Uh, as you can see the brown uh, cover. So that's how it tends to turn brown over the period of time and then it will fall off. This philodendron is very very easy, um, especially for beginners. It does not require any care. I don't even add any fertilizers and you can see it's been doing quite well. Probably after a few days I will give some uh, compost tea because it's getting a lot of new growth. So I'll give some compost tea but I haven't added any uh, fertilizers yet. So, But still it's doing quite well. So it's very low maintenance. You can easily grow it at the windowsill, at the window, in your bathroom, in your bedroom because they do not require a lot of light. That brings us to the light as well. Do not keep them in indirect sunlight if you're going to keep them in direct sunlight then they will definitely get burnt because you're a little bit of sunlight was uh, hitting on this leaf you can see it's turning ye slightly yellow so ensure that you do not keep this plant in direct sunlight otherwise the leaves will get burnt they prefer so give it uh, either dappled sunlight or indirect bright light uh, the plant will do quite well so it's very easy to grow uh, looks absolutely beautiful you can always give it a small little pole you don't need a very huge pole if you're growing it near the table or something you can just use a very small little pole and and then just grow it uh, as per your wish and if you want you can even put it in a hanging planter it will start to trail like over here i had to tie it but if i don't tie it it is going to kind of fall down so you can even use it in a hanging planter or in a hanging basket so guys i hope that you like this video if you did please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting